Hello, welcome back to Auto Pop Culture, and today we're going to go over the uh, TV show uh, Titans. The one of the song like I love this TV show. It was really great. It was a great series, and, or great first season because I know they're coming out with the second one, which I'm very excited about, and I cannot wait for it to come out. Um, I really like. I really loved it. I love the. I love the shit tons of things about it, and it's funny because I. I for the longest time, I was on the I was on the fence with it because if we go back, so let's start from the beginning. First of all, I've watched uh, Teen Titans back in the day, and I loved it. And I watched every single, like pretty much every single episode. I was very addicted to it. So when I found out they're doing a live action one on the um, DC Universe um, Universe app, I was super excited. So when the trailer came out, though it was a little bit of a letdown, I started. I kind of went into it. And the famous, the infamous, um, fuck Batman scene from Robin was just like, ugh, okay, like this is gonna, they're, they're trying to make it more edgier than it needs to be. Um, and the fact that, um, Starfire didn't really look like Starfire, not the fact that she's black, I think it's great that she's black, you know, it's, it's the time to be diverse and everything, and there's no, there's no written thing that said that she needs to be white anyway, so... That I know there was backlash about that that she was black and I was like I really don't think it matters, um, but what did matter was the fact that in the preview they she looked she kind of looked like a prostitute she kind of looked she had these this gigantic fur coat with some like above the knee um, almost nighty dress and some boots, which so when I saw it I was like oh god like this is not this is not. Starfire that I know from the comics or even from T Titans, um, and then on top of that we had the Raven who like the the production didn't look very and didn't look so hot, and the Ravens look she was younger which I kind of understand but at the same time I just like kind of expect them to all be in around the same age, um, instead of having Starfire and Robin the oldest and then it kind of goes down to where I think. Beast Boy is like a couple of years older than Raven. Um, Beast Boy also was something that was like, I think Beast Boy was Beast Boy and the action inside the trailer was the thing that actually kept me going because I was like, okay, I need to get into it just off based off of that, but I don't know if I'm gonna like it. I'll give the first episode a try. So going off, I had my doubts, and then here came the release. So I started getting into it, and I was like, you know what? I'll get to the first episode. If I don't like it, I'll just discard it, never think about it again. Um, which is, I really hope I not, cause, and I was hoping that it wouldn't be that, it wouldn't be that way, because I, one of my favorite characters in DC, other than Superman, is Nightwing, and I love Nightwing. I cannot wait, and I think that, and spoiler, I think that he's gonna come in in a second episode, or a second season. Um, so I was very excited and also very excited to see a Robin. And we have been waiting for the longest time to get into Robin. We've been waiting forever. And we've seen him in a lot of live action stuff, but we haven't seen him in the actual, like, or sorry, we've seen him in the cartoons, but we haven't seen him live action. I've been dying to see him in live action. They teased him and, and, um, uh, was it Dark, Dark Knight Rises? They teased him in that making, um, uh, fucking Gordon, Gordon Levy, um, be part, be him. He's like, oh, you should go off Robin. You should, you should name your name Robin. You should go out your original name, Robin, which is, I was like, okay, Robin's coming, Robin's coming, Robin's coming, but he never did. So here he is, he's here, and all the whole, um, Titans are here. So we get into it, and we find, and so I get into it, and I s see that it's really good. It's, the whole thing. I binged it within five days. It was really, really, really good. Um, some of the highlights I love. I loved Robin. I think he had a lot of um, conflicting thoughts going through him since he left Batman. And I think that was such, it was the most, it was so accurate and so precise, perfect. It was made perfectly for how he would feel, the realistic way of how he would feel about dividing himself from Batman and trying to make him his own type of way. Um, Starfire actually grew on me because, oh, I thought, sh I thought the whole prostitute look was just, was just trashy, and I was like, eh, this is, this is a letdown. 
But over time, she kind of, it kind of grew on me because that coat was super cute. Her hair was super cute, and she and I love the fact that whenever she she fired up her her hand, her hair would light up into red with it, and it looked super cool. Um, and then she slaps me in the face with this whole thing about when she comes in, like I want I want to say like episode three or four, and she comes out with this fucking jumpsuit with like plat um, platzo pants and it's this like metallic purple and I was like, get it, get it. It was so fucking beautiful. It was so great. It was fierce. It was flawless. It, she looked amazing. And so it kind of grew on me. I was like, okay, okay, I'll, I'll let this one go. Like this is, this is pretty fucking amazing. Um, Raven was really good. I liked the fact that she was younger and I liked the fact that she, um, I didn't really actually, no, let me point something out. I didn't really, I'm confused exactly how, who she actually, her powers are. I know in comics they talked about it here and there, but I feel like even looking it up, when I looked it up, it was just like all over the place of what people thought that her powers were. And they didn't really portray much of, one thing, they didn't really portray much of e of anybody's powers or talked about it much. Like they talked, they, they did the whole like, show me what you can do kind of thing, but Beast Boy can turn into a tiger, want like, only, and he associates with a tiger, it means a lot to him, but I was like, but you're Beast Boy, you can make more, you can do more than just that, which I'm sure in season two, I think a lot of these things I'm, I was upset about are going to be cleaned up in season two, or explained in season two. Um, Starfire only using a flames to burn people when she can fly, and she can do a lot of other things, and... Uh, who else? Um, Raven, who we don't really know exactly what she does exactly. But we know she has this like weird black goo that comes out of her that goes into other people that were kind of remind me of um, remind me a lot actually of uh, Thor. Um, fuck, what was that one? Lost World, not Lost World. Um, the second Thor, where they had the weird um, red goo that came out of the one of the, uh, the Infinity Stones, which I thought was kind of was cool at first, but it was just, it kind of got old, because I didn't really think that, I didn't remember her having that type of power at all. Um, and then Robin kind of, like, Robin being himself, but he still has more to it. I do like he brought his staff out, so that kind of gives you a future reference to him being Nightwing. Um, what, the things I did like um, was I love the backstory between, um, uh, Hawk and Dove, which I didn't know who they were. I didn't have an, I had no idea who they are. Um, but it was cool to get to know them. I also like the fact that they, um, I like the fact that they had a backstory. One critique though is that this, that the backstory could have been a little shorter. I felt like they kind of lingered a lot of things inside the backstory that could have been like sped up a bit, but it was good to know because I knew that it all comes together in one in some way. Um, what else I liked? I, I love the characters. I love the surprise characters. I loved um, Wonder Girl, who looked amazing. I love that she had her lasso that she, they showed off, because was wait that was the huge part I was waiting for. Um, I loved, loved um, Jason, to uh, Jason Todd. Jason Todd was so good. He looked exactly what I would think he would look like. He was super, super, like, was... He was young, so that's the part, that, which is, I kind of assumed that he would be, but he looked exactly like the part. Like, the messy hair, and the angstiness, and the, the I'm badass, and I'll just kind of do what I want kind of thing. It was perfect to the fucking T, and I loved it, and I think it was, it was great to kind of see a very accurate character. Um, and I felt like all of them were pretty accurate with their characters, other than the powers not being shown. Um... Yeah, I also like the, I, I kind of was into the whole Batman story that happened near the end. Um, I wish we could have saw him, but I understand the difference. We, I understand that the reason that we probably didn't see him face, like, his face or anything, he was always in the shadows, which I understand that was, it made it kind of exciting to know that, like, oh, Batman is so mysterious, we don't know what he looks like, you know? That part was exciting, but I also understand because we would have, I think if it wasn't for the shit tons of Batmans that we have and the fact that we just released I think I think DC has let go of Matt or Ben Affleck as um oh my god could you imagine Matt Damon being one of the bat being Batman?
I can see it. I can see it. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Um, he's a little, sh he's a little short, so it'd be kind of interesting. He'll probably sit, stand on a box like Tom Cruise. Um, <laughs> but, um, I really, I, I think because of shit tons of Batman, that, Batman that been in the past, including just letting go of Ben Affleck, I think that we, it's kind of since, it's kind of weird to kind of just throw another one, just have another one ready. It makes it seem like it's just a repeat of Batman, which is I thought we were going to end on Kristen Bell, or Kristen Bell, uh, Christian Bale, and, um, but we ended up having Ben Affleck as a new one, which just wasn't too bad. He was a little bulkier than I, like, that I really cared for. Um, but anyway, so that was kind of exciting. Um, there's a, it was a cup. So a couple of things were that the, um, one, another, oh, another thing I liked was, um, was the family, the weird, um, powered up family that loved to kill for fun. that are part of this corporation that's trying to get Raven, um, together with, um, uh, Trigon. But I, I uh, Trigon, but I think that, I think, I loved it. I loved the fact that they had, like, a, I love the fact they had, like, a, they were so nice and so cookie cutter as a family, even though they weren't a family, they're just agents in different parts. Um, but they're so weird and creepy and so dangerous that it was just, it was exciting to see them come through and everything. Um, what else was really cool? Um, I love the storyline. I felt like the, the storyline went really smoothly. We under like, you kind of got to understand everything about each person and their background and the, the turmoil that, that was going on with Robin kind of accepting that he's not Robin anymore as he kind of like tries to use some of the gadgets or trying to go into like the safe houses, but he can't even get in because Batman's locked him out as, as Robin because he got a new one. Um, so it was very interesting to see, and I cannot wait for season two. It's going to be so exciting. They, we left it a huge cliffhanger, um, so I'm interested to see what's going to happen. Um, so that's it. So that's the, that's the end of my video review. So leave a comment below. Tell me what you thought. What was your favorite part? Are you excited for season two? Um, did you like it? Did you not like it? Um, I know there's going to be a lot of comic fans that are going to have their own opinion about it, um, but... By all means, be honest, tell me what you thought, um, and I'll see you guys next time on my next uh, review, and I hope everybody has a great weekend.